An excellent illustration that is often used to show the ability of fibrous fascia to transmit lines of tension, to transmit lines of force throughout the body, is to place a sheet of fabric on a table, grab it at one point, and give a pull. And we immediately see that the pull is transmitted all the way to the end of the sheet. The idea of this is that fascia, not being very elastic, not being very stretchable, will immediately transmit any line of tension along its entire course. And this is very true. However, it should be pointed out that if somewhere along the line of the fascia, or perhaps if this is considered to be a myofascial meridian, if there's some slack at some point, whether it be in the fascia or perhaps looseness in a muscle of the myofascial meridian, if I create a tension line here, then the slack would absorb that tension and the tension would not be transmitted to the other end of the sheet or in our metaphor to the other end of the body. So just because you might be able to transmit a long line of tension throughout the body, you will not always transmit it to the other end of the body if anywhere along the line of fascia or the line of myofascia we have a looseness. That would absorb the line of tension and stop it from being transmitted further.